Alumni Day is one of our uh, best departmental activities of the year. It's an annual event where the residents really get to share the science that they're carrying out, some of the clinical cases that they've done, and what they're really working on as part of their training. I think we are all enjoying being able to be together in a, in a space, sort of sharing not only science, but personal life. Um, it's very nice to be able to be in these spaces where we can sort of present some of the things uh, that we've seen in the hospital and worked hard on. Some of, some of my colleagues are presenting, you know, basic science research that they've spent a lot of time doing. So it's very nice to see sort of those projects come to fruition. They each are responsible for presenting uh, posters of their work. This is reviewed by faculty and uh, other folks milling around and, uh, and it's meant to really be part of their development and career development along the way to get them used to presenting this information. So I'm interested in studying neurodegenerative diseases like uh, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, um, especially interested in studying chronic traumatic encephalopathy or CTE. So I worked in a basic science lab uh, where I used cells and culture and proteins that we purify in a test tube to model the way that these abnormal proteins are uh, damaging cells in the brain and spreading from one brain region to another. And in the future, I'm interested in looking at uh, certain genes, uh, either associated with aging or associating with uh, the protective ability of cells to prevent this process of disease propagation. I'm presenting a case of Clippers, not to be confused with the LA basketball team, um, but this is rather a rare neurologic disorder. My case in particular is about a very young patient, 32-year-old patient, previously healthy, um, presented to the hospital with difficulty walking, difficulty coordinating. We thought this was related to Aiden, which is a different syndrome. We ultimately discharged him. He continued to get worse, and so he represented to the hospital. And then we had to sort of rethink everything. We ultimately landed on this diagnosis and one of the important things about this diagnosis is that it has a treatment and it can be completely reversible. It's really great to see uh, the maturation that occurs over the three years that they're in residency as we see them from their PGY2 years all the way to their senior years where they've uh, mastered uh, this field and are really launching, beginning to launch their uh, careers in neurology. I think the faculty at UCLA are all very um, engaged in mentorship and in promoting our careers. Um, they listen to our unique interests and try to find a fit for us within the larger community here. Um, I benefited greatly from that advice, all the way from the chair of our department to my individual faculty mentor, um, and was able to assemble a, a team of mentors that I'm really excited to work with in the future. So you have our most senior faculty here, as well as our most junior faculty and fellows in training. And we're all part of the same family, and we're all interested in the success of our residents in training and helping them uh, launch that career and get to those next stages.